Watch and new at five. This is the damage left behind at SDPD's Mid City substation. Some <coughs> threw rocks at windows and damaged cars in what was supposed to be a secured lot. Tennis reporter Matt Mendez is live at the substation in City Heights, and Matt Police Chief Shelly Zimmerman says she's worried this could lead to bigger problems. Yeah, Preston, the chief said that whoever did this is pretty bold, and there's, she's also concerned because there's been a lot of violence against Mid-City police officers lately. Now, they first uh, threw a rock through the front door of the Mid-City sub substation, and then they hopped this fence and damaged four of the officers' personal vehicles. A vandal or vandals left their mark at Mid-City Police Substation, shattering this front door that's now boarded up. They also hopped this fence, shattering the windows to four of the officers' personal cars. The suspect or suspects are so bold to jump a fence of a police department uh, that is the symbol of safety and security for our entire community. Imagine what these suspects will do out in our community. San Diego Police Chief Shelly Zimmerman says it's concerning because it's the second time this same building has been targeted. Last week, somebody shot a pellet gun at the window. And in recent months, she said three Mid-City police officers were victims of attempted murder. Another officer was even attacked in the parking lot right after work. To have something like this happen in our own community is really appalling. Chief Zimmerman says they'll review surveillance video and the department has plans in place to make the gated area more secure. We can't allow this to happen. We have to work together. We have to partner. Police, community, come together. Anyone who has information should call San Diego Police or Crime Stoppers. And police talked to a witness who gave a description on a person of interest. He's described as a white man in his mid-30s. He has shoulder length, brown hair. He was last seen wearing a long gray t-shirt and blue, blue jeans. Coming up new at 6, the officer's frustrations about the crime that's been happening here. We're live in City Heights, Matt Mendes, 10 News.